Hi, my name is Chris, and I want to help you make costumes cheaper, easier, and amazinger. Today we're making Winter Wonder Woman's skirt and cape, and we've got some sweet tricks up our sleeves. <laughs> so stay tuned. What are you doing, Linda? Cutting. Well, I've got this skirt I got from the thrift store. I'm cutting it apart so I can use it then to make a pattern to make the real skirt that I actually want to make. Sort of like something that's fitted here, and then we're gonna have these two seams going down here, and then I don't know what's gonna happen once we get past here. It's gonna kind of maybe flare out a little bit or something. Have you ever done this before? No, actually. <laughs> it was Chris's idea, your idea, to cut apart to cut something apart. to make a pattern, which I believe you've done before, All the time. probably plenty of times, because that's the sort of thing you would do. Cool, first timer. Well. Cutting apart some clothes. Yeah. It wasn't the prettiest skirt. No. So once Lorinda had cut apart the skirt, she added some paper to make the pattern longer, and added some extra triangular pieces so that the skirt would flare out. <laughs> so show the people what kind of material we're using. This is vinyl. Vinyl, crinkly vinyl. It's really, it's not super thick, but it's thicker than anything else. The but concern yeah. is whether or not it's going to be just too thick and awkward to sew and make it look decent. I'm not 100% confident in my sewing abilities and in, um, and in this fabric and that it's going to actually work and fit me, but that's always how it is. It might not. It might not. In which case you could just be awkward skirt wonder woman. It'll be alright. <laughs> alright. See you later. Have fun sewing. I will. Call me okay. up if you're doing anything that needs filming. Okay. How does it look? <laughs> Sweet. Yes, I get to figure out how to put the zipper in. Awesome. Do you have a zipper? Yeah, I was just going to use the one from the other skirt. It doesn't the beige one? really match. Well, I don't know. Do we have any other zippers? Uh, look in the zipper bag. Where's the zipper bag? In the box of random bits. There's a bag of zipper. zippers. Well, zippers and things. I think they're like this big or something. They're like really wide, long zippers. I don't know. I'm not in charge of the zipper box. You totally are. <laughs> These zippers. One's off like, the hot tub cover. What the? Like this is That's, I don't almost as tall as me. Yeah. Well, the long zippers are hard to come by. <laughs> so unless they're worth, you're looking at our zipper box. They're worth saving, clearly. You should use that zipper. This is how long it is. That's the zipper. I learned some handy what? tips like using clips. Because you can't use pins, so I clipped oh, yeah. it together. They're two different lengths, my, um, my front seams. Look, this one is way higher up. <laughs> <laughs> how did how did I do that? I told, I thought I measured it. Obviously, I didn't measure it the same. You even got a zipper in there. Yeah, hey, look. So what do you think overall? Uh, it's hard to say. Without it being hemmed, so I really know what it's gonna be like. It's hard, like it, it just feels so stiff. To, uh, it's kind of big. That's bigger than it should have been. Like it should, it should only be half a centimeter on each side. So I fixed up the skirt. Yep. Um, fixed the seam, made it fit. Turn around, do a spin. We're marking the skirt hem. All right. Okay. So. Now. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it looks weird. <laughs> Once it was hemmed, it looked so good. We just had to do a photo shoot. <laughs> <laughs> It looked like. Okay, here's Lorinda making a cape, I think. Yeah. That's a cape. It will be a cape. Should I talk about it? Have like some like tragic thing where you're like, oh no, this is all gone horribly <laughs> wrong, and there's only 10 minutes till it has to be done, and we gotta have some drama. No, we don't have enough drama in this project. Have, oh, the sewing machine could break. Yeah, well, the sewing machine is not always so great for me. Okay, so Lorinda's sewing a pleated cape. She's. A uh, master? Soamstress? Soamstress? <laughs> no, I'm not, because this is like... <laughs> Don't film this part where I'm like forcing it through. I do not like the sound of that. I know! I gotta leave before I start freaking out because my sewing machine is getting wrecked. <laughs> you can't make it make that sound. The motor's gonna burn out. 
That, that is not okay. <laughs> okay, I'm trying. I really am. I know. Just I do really it. Just do it by hand. Just boom, boom, boom. That's what I do. If it's too hard, hard, that's just what you have to do. Hard to do it by hand. I know, but I don't want my motor wrecked. Okay. <laughs> Look, that was some Are drama. You, I'm gonna put this in the video. They're trying to make drama, Lorinda. <laughs> What'll be more exciting is if you come running down the hall with it, <laughs> like attached to your back. And singing, look at this tape. <laughs> okay, but just in case I don't do that. <laughs> then originally we were gonna do like a shawl, scarfy sort of thing, but then when we tried it, it just it covered up too much of the bodice and felt like that. So we thought maybe a cape would be cool, and so that's what I've been working on. Cape. So you're making a cape? <laughs> making a cape. A lot of, I did some research, not lots of research, but I did some research about pleats at the top. <laughs> Here, okay. So I've got my pleats, see at the top there? So Spread it out, pull it apart. Like that, looks like that. But then when it um, hangs, it'll be more like that, because that'll be about where my shoulders are. So How are you going to attach it to your shoulders? Kind of have a nice drape there. Um, yeah, we're just figuring that out, aren't we? Tape? Maybe, maybe, well, our first thought was D-rings and Velcro. Second thought was magnets. So we'll see where we go mm -hmm. with those. Cool. Looks good. Kind of like curtains for your back. It doesn't look that much like curtains, does it? It was a no. curtain. <laughs> I did cut off this part, which was the curtain part. That's super cool. We should add that to the costume somewhere. I thought that Bottom that of be... the skirt or something. <laughs> Go put it over your shoulder. No, like over one like shoulder. A bandolier? <laughs> <laughs> we did end up using magnets. Lorinda sewed two into the pleats on each shoulder, and I glued four into corresponding locations on the bodice. Snap, snap. Checking out the cape. You know, if I could bring it like up and have a collar, like a nice sort of collar around my neck and have it kind of come off the shoulder like that. Oh, if it had a hood. Yeah. Oh. I thought that too. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Like it looks pretty amazing. Yeah. That's right. We're still debating between the cape or so, the shawl. Anyway, let's mark the hem for the cape and then we can look at the shawl. Okay. So here we are with the shawl thing. Yeah, I think it looks good. But I like that it kind of it comes up on the neck and it gives more of the warm feeling. What are you going to wear though? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Both will be ready, ready yeah. to go. <laughs> you just, at half time, you can swap <laughs> suits. You're like, Costume and change. now, and then just whip your cape off at some point <laughs> and throw it into the audience. Hey, we started off making this winter Wonder Woman. But really, it's not quite winter because no. you couldn't wear that in the winter because look, this arm is bare. No. It, it's yeah. more like an, it's a three season Wonder Woman. Yeah, that's for when it's cool. Swoosh it off to the Swoosh side it. for... For medium. Also, I wore leggings under here too. You can wear leggings, black leggings. That's what I wore when I wore it before. That's what I would do. That made it better for sitting down as well. Because it gets a bit inappropriate when yeah. you sit down. But Lorinda did a really good job on the skirt, everyone, hey? For being a not professional. Yeah. Oh, and, and I made a cape, Let's talk about too. the cape. Let's talk about this amazing cape. <laughs> Where is it? It's over on the chair over there. And look at how easy oh. that is to attach. And check this out. Okay, ready? You're like, done with your cape? <laughs> Let's do a reenactment here of what could happen. So you're superheroing. Start here, Rin. And you're going to walk. Okay. Forward, ready, walk. <laughs> Somebody steps on your cape accidentally. Oh. But it doesn't stop you. You can no. continue. It's a safety Your cape. mission. Because it has magnets in it, which is smart. Okay. And then watch this. I'm going to just throw it and it's just going to snap on. <laughs> I don't think that's going to Ready? Work. I've never tried this before. <laughs> yeah. No. But I can feel it. <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, one, one side. Just like. <laughs> it's on. Done. Still, like, couldn't, like, do a twirl, see if it flies off. Well, no, it's, it's not. It's pretty. It's pretty. Jump. It's on a pretty. See? It stays pretty on good. pretty good. Well, no more making today because you're off. Oh, to off to the bingo. Let's take my shield. Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> cool. Good. Uh -huh. good luck actually getting in the car with this screwed up. Good luck even making it to the bingo. So what did you like better, the shawl or the cape? 
let me know in the comments. I usually hang out there for about an hour after I release a video, so if you have any questions or just want to say hi, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. See ya.